Just a reminder, World Conquest Mission Sunday is the last Sunday of the month, October 29th. So prepare for Mission Sunday. Our goal is every family is uh, sponsoring a missionary, planting a church with $100. So prepare to come on, on Sunday, October 29th uh, for Mission Sunday. An announcement. Okay. Le, le, uh, yeah, let's do announcements now. Yep. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, church. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I was so blessed by Pastor Jack's word and his heart for evangelism. Amen. So I just thought I would give a little uh, exhortation right now. You know, the evangelism ministry is not for me, but it's for everybody. Amen. Like, it doesn't hurt me if you don't come, and it doesn't help me if you come, but it is an opportunity to reach out every week amen it's an opportunity to get the gospel out to somebody and the fact is is when you go and preach you just feel better about yourself you feel better in the Lord you feel like you've accomplished something after sitting here for four hours and then you go out and you touch someone's heart my God you feel like your day had purpose you weren't there just to receive. You've done something for the kingdom. You know, when, when I was in the world, I was deep in the world, in drugs, all of those things. Somebody came to my house and he told me, you will burn forever in the lake of fire. And he said, you're going to be destroyed forever. That made me very angry because I never heard those kind of things. And so then he told me, he said God is gonna judge you in perfect righteousness so I said that's even worse because I knew I was a sinner I said my god I don't know which one is worse the first or the second but then guess what happened he left that place I never saw him again but every time when I was getting close to drugs and doing uh, uh, getting close to death and doing drugs and thinking that I might die I would start doing business with God and I say Lord if what he said is true if there really is a hell that I'm going to please save me from that the one seed the man planted by speaking to me that one day caused me to start doing business with God every time I got afraid that I was going too far I can't tell you how many times that I asked God, Lord, if this is true, please save me. And so that led me to receiving three tracks in a week. And I received those tracks. And I didn't read they, two of them were God loves you. The other one was, does God really love you? And it talked about what God is going to do to sinners. And that was the one I picked up and read. And by the time I got down to Deuteronomy 32, 22, I remember it from today. It said, his anger burns unto the lowest hell. And with fire and with the, uh, the beast, he will devour you. And he will sick the teeth of beast upon you and destroy you with the serpents and the poison of the dust. And I'm reading this and saying, oh my God, this is horrible. So I got even more serious and I was, I fell to my knees. I was crying out to Jesus. I said, Lord, please, I don't want to go there, you know? And the Holy Spirit said, there is one way. Jesus can save you from this. So I said, Lord Jesus, save me. So the next time, the next thing I know is I'm at a church because I wanted to get the information from their sign to put in my business newsletter all these wisdom quotes they were sharing and i asked them what book do you get this from it was a little wisdom book and she said well let me ask let me go she went and got the pastor i didn't know she was doing that or i would have ran out of the church probably but she said let me get somebody i'll be right back the pastor comes and said well why don't you come upstairs and i'll show you so then he starts preaching the gospel to me and something is like making me angry and making me not like this man and telling me get out of there and I found it so strange because I was like this is one of the nicest people I think I've ever met and yet I'm not liking him and I want to leave I, what in the world so I went against it he said would you after he preached he said would you like to pray 
and I rebelled against whatever was trying to make me rebel against him. And I said, sure, yes, I'd like to pray. Let's sit down, let's pray. So then I prayed with him. I never saw him again for 10 years. What I'm trying to get to is the gospel is a work of faith. Amen. Preaching the gospel is a work of faith. When you're out there, you're sowing seeds that are transforming people's lives. I never saw the people that gave me the tracks. I never saw the guy that came to my house again. I didn't see the pastor again for 10 years because I found him and I just wanted to thank him. But yet here I am now. When I was addicted to four drugs a day, selling drugs, you know, pushing life to the limit. But now I'm in Christ, being saved, safe for eternity. Amen? Amen. And Jesus wants to do that for others. And it all comes to pass through our outreaching, those seeds, through evangelism. And then God, once I learned to hear from God, then God told me, to go on the mission field then god told me to come to this church you see so i mean just because we're not bringing them immediately into the church don't think your work is not effective and very important so i just wanted to encourage us evangelism on sundays please everyone's welcome hallelujah the impact of a track hallelujah amen in his life amen so the, the track that you're giving you don't know the impact there's some countless testimonies of that and he is a true testimony yes it impacted evangelism you don't know what that track the gospel track is is it's is going to do after you've given it amen amen